essentially, um, my uh, my girlfriend, uh, she was diagnosed with uh, lymphoma cancer yeah. uh, at the end of last year. And um, yeah, it was just a, a big panic for us, a big shock. You know, we, we just moved into our house and uh, everything seemed great. It was like a real life fairy tale. Everything was perfect. You know, I was so in love. We were so happy together. Everything was perfect. Uh, I moved to Holland, you know, and it was just like a, a start of a new life, a new chapter. And then uh, one week after moving in together, we got struck by this. Sure. And it was just such a big scare, you know, for both of us. Um, more so for her, obviously. But when she was at hospital getting the tests done to find out what type of cancer it was, is it cancer? Even though the doctor was at 95% certain, I was at home doing research immediately. And I was like, right, I need, to, I need to stop this before it gets worse. You know, I need to make a body alkaline, uh, get CBD oil and all these different things. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know what it was, but something just clicked in my head. Wim Hof method. Uh, yeah, this can I'm, help I'm, I'm, well, in some yeah, way. I'm, I'm always very careful mm. in in, uh, in bringing forward these, these yeah, uh, the, towards the ailments, right? Yeah. On autoimmune disease, et cetera, because yeah. even there is a lot of science of battling uh, inflammation. My dad is a believer, you know, mm -hmm. and he sees yeah. like miracles going up going on around him. But I'm, from out the company's perspective, very careful because- Of course, I mean, I wasn't <coughs> thinking I'm going to come to Wim and no, cure her cancer. No, but, but still you came, yeah. so, and, and, and yeah, then yeah. there's a wall, and then I'm there, and I'm just like, okay, but wait a minute, yeah. uh, sec, uh, this is not a, a pinnacle uh, cure or, or whatever, of course. but I have seen in our community that people with a, a low amount of white blood cells doing the method and in combination with food or with whatever, mm -hmm. they would be able like to raise it mm -hmm. uh, substantial. Yeah. And that's that's what I brought forward to you. Like, yeah. hey man, okay, exactly. you know, don't, 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 don't bring the number, don't yeah. give the number and, and keep it like, of course. without a, like, oh, this, we're going to not do chemo. No, uh, let's do it and exactly. see what happens. But well, that's, that's what I forgot to mention. Yeah. We actually <clears throat> had the test done first before I contacted you, sorry. And um, yeah, she was told that um, she wouldn't be able to get chemo at this stage because her white blood cell count was too low. Yeah. I think it was like 0 0.2 or uh, needed to be 0 0.5, for example. And um, yeah, I can't remember what it was, but something clicked in my head thinking the breathing technique could help. Yeah. And uh, I think, I'm, I'm not sure if I heard it from somebody else or if I'd seen something online, but something just clicked in my head. Um, so I tried to tell her, I was like, hey, try this breathing method. It's, it's going to help you boost your white blood cells. But if you think about it, you know, uh, if, if your partner comes up to you and says, who, by the way, have cancer, if their partner comes up to you and says, oh, breathe for 10 minutes, it's going <laughs> to fix you. You're going to sound like a fucking lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that's why it would be amazing if we could get Wim on the phone himself, you know, because you're, you're so respected, world known. Um, and yeah, you're, you're the master of this, essentially. If we could get you to maybe just sit down and talk with Melody about how it works, your experience, et cetera. Yeah, she might be, you know, uh, tempted to try this and really give it everything and see how it works with her. And so, yeah, like, thanks, thanks to you, man. We, we came, uh, we came, met you, sat in the kitchen, had a really great talk for an hour, went home. First thing she did, get in the cold shower, doing the breathing method. And she loved it, man. She loved the breathing oh. method. She didn't really like the cold <laughs> at first. Me neither. Um, but, but no, the breathing, she was, she was doing it every day. Really like ones. every day was something to look forward to. And um, I really got into it and was going deeper and deeper into it. You know, the breath holds were getting longer. And um, yeah, uh, she's, she's actually here now as well. But um, she yeah. Had, oh, yes. she might, yeah. please she might do come go. and sit. I was going to say, she, yes, she probably explained it better name? than me. Hi, welcome, uh, Melody. So, uh, Thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot uh, for everything you've done for us, first of all. Uh, and it's good for me to share a bit my uh, my experience. Um, I think at our age, uh, I'm only now 28. Was 27 when I was diagnosed. We we're young. We f we feel invincible. And when it strikes you at this age, you you're not prepared for it. No one prepares you to have a cancer ever, but even less when you're young. Uh, it's been a big shock for me. I think the worst was for my dad, uh, Zach, just to uh, see that they could lose someone that they love too early. It's it's never good. Um, so for me, the, the fight with this cancer was always, I had to be strong for myself, but more for, for the others. Mm. I'm a strong person by, mm. by nature. And, Very strong, and, yeah. 
I've been always interested in looking at alternative therapies. I was actually considering before we met you to, to do other things than chemotherapy. Uh, but it was worrying a lot to my family, so I decided to do the chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. And we actually came to see you on the day I had my first chemotherapy. And uh, yeah, as I said, it was really to boost my, my white blood cells. Um, because on the, on the second chemotherapy I had... Uh, I couldn't get it. My yeah, my right. white blood cells on the on the Friday were 0 0.3, and you need a minimum of 0 0.5 of uh, neutrophils, which are the white blood cells that protect the body from infections. And uh, I did I think after that the breathing and the cold for two or th three times a day over the weekend, and on Monday I could get my chemotherapy it was 0 0.6. So my my numbers doubled, uh, which is usually they would uh, thought. They told me on Friday, probably we need to wait until Wednesday before you can get your chemotherapy. And, and uh, on they Monday, I already could get as it. Well, didn't mm -hmm. They, they mm -hmm. said, you need to come back, we need to give you injections to get you the white yeah. blood cell boost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, by the time we came back for the second checkup, they doubled. Mm -hmm. And she could, she got the green light. Yeah. But it didn't stop from there. You, you continued doing yeah. it. The showers got longer, the breath holds got mm -hmm. stronger, yeah. longer. Um, and yeah, it just, I mean, the results were great yeah. for something so simple yeah. it wasn't like she's just beat a cancer because she started breathing or anything no, no, that's crazy but no. the results we were seeing yeah. from something so simple 10 minutes yeah. a day of breathing and at the time 30 seconds to a minute in some cold water that's it yeah. it, it was, changed so much yeah. in you know a and it's of days. for for the mindset i really saw the benefit of the cold shower it was giving me the endorphin, the yeah. Uh, when I was coming out of the shower, I was feeling al alive. Yeah, it was fun, eh? It was great. We turned uh, it into a bit of a game, you know, yeah. because it's it wasn't fun. I mean, when I did my first cold shower, I yeah. was like fighting the water, you know, to try, to try and get angry at it to stay in longer. And um, how much did you pay them to, yeah. to, to mm. tell this? Huh? No, how much did true. you pay them? To, <laughs> yeah, it's and true. Yeah. I, hey, I almost it. paid. Uh, like, like, I, I he's actually, paying you, man. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I actually uh, I say that to all my friends. You know, it's. Uh, it's great. And the breathing for me was just a way, especially at night, to, to calm me down. Mm -hmm. I'm a person that's always suffered with insomnia. I will usually take uh, some natural uh, medicine that I can buy in pharmacy to help me sleep. I used, used to do just uh, three rounds or four rounds of breathing at night, and it would calm me down and fall asleep so easily. Oh. Oh, yeah. So uh, it was great. 